The year is 2019, and Earth is being ravaged by an unprecedented wave of natural disasters. Tornadoes tear through cities, leaving trails of destruction in their wake. Water levels rise in New York, flooding streets and submerging buildings. Relentless heat waves scorch the globe, claiming the lives of millions. The storms grow increasingly deadly, pushing humanity to take drastic measures. In response, the international community, under the leadership of the United States, launches a network of climate-controlling satellites nicknamed Dutch Boy. These state-of-the-art satellites are designed to detect and neutralize the growing threats, preventing further catastrophes and securing a safe future for our planet. Fast forward to 2022, we're introduced to Dutch Boy's architect, the charismatic yet hot-headed Jake Lawson. Jake is testifying before a Senate subcommittee, passionately defending his work after an incident where an Afghan village mysteriously froze over. He explains the intricate science behind Dutch Boy and how the satellites employ advanced weather manipulation techniques to regulate atmospheric conditions and suppress the formation of natural disasters. Jake warns the committee about the dangers of prematurely handing Dutch Boy over to international control, stressing the need for its continued expertise and oversight. However, Jake's warnings fall on deaf ears. The committee dismisses his concerns, resulting in his dismissal from the project. His brother Max, played by Jim Sturgis, reluctantly steps in to replace him. Three years later, we find Jake leading a solitary life, designing cars, a far cry from the world-saving gig he was once a part of. In an unexpected turn, Max seeks out Jake, bearing news of an eerie, inexplicable incident. A village in India has been flash frozen, mirroring the chilling incident in Afghanistan. Max suspects that Dutch Boy is malfunctioning, and he must convince a reluctant Jake to return to the International Climate Space Station, the belly of the beast, to investigate the source of the anomalies. Back on Earth, Max's girlfriend Sarah, played by Abby Cornish, an agent for the Secret Service, grows suspicious of Secretary of State Leonard Deckham. Sarah senses that something is amiss when Deckham diverts the president to a climate conference in Orlando instead of his original schedule, raising a red flag. She investigates further, uncovering the intricate connections between Deckham, the satellite malfunctions, and a hidden agenda that could spell disaster for humanity. In space, Jake teams up with the station commander, Ute Fastbinder, and her crew. They meticulously examine the faulty satellite responsible for the India incident, dissecting its complex mechanisms and analyzing its data. It is then that they make a shocking discovery. It wasn't a mere malfunction, but a highly sophisticated virus that caused the disaster. The virus infiltrates the satellite's control systems, compromising its functionality and overriding safety protocols. Jake and the team work against the clock to remove the infected satellite, knowing that any wrong move could trigger a catastrophic chain reaction. With a heavy heart, Jake sacrifices the satellite, causing it to explode, but successfully preventing further damage to the network. Meanwhile, on Earth, Max and Sarah piece together the puzzle of Deckham's devious plans. They gather incontrovertible evidence linking Deckham to the satellite malfunctions and uncover the chilling truth, his intention to weaponize Dutch Boy. Deckham's audacity knows no bounds. He plans to instigate a geostorm, a cataclysmic sequence of natural disasters capable of decimating major cities and annihilating millions. With the world's attention diverted by the spectacle of the Democratic National Convention in Orlando, Max and Sarah realize the urgency of their mission to expose Deckham's treachery and prevent the impending catastrophe. As the situation escalates, Jake grapples with an escalating crisis in space. He unearths a horrifying discovery. The virus infecting the satellite system not only wreaks havoc but also obstructs anyone from using the kill code. This failsafe measure is crucial to shutting down Dutch Boy and its entirety, but the virus has rendered it ineffective. Jake's desperation grows as he races against time to find an alternative solution while ensuring the safety of his team and the entire planet. The stakes reach their pinnacle when Max and Sarah bring their findings to President Andrew Palma, seeking to expose Deckham's treachery and rally support. In a heart-stopping moment, Sarah manages to extract the president from Deckham's clutches, narrowly escaping his malevolent grasp. Amidst the swirling chaos, Jake and Ute make a pivotal breakthrough. They trace the source of the virus back to the very satellite Jake had inspected earlier. Aware of the heightened stakes, they board the infected satellite, aware that any wrong move could trigger its self-destruct sequence. On Earth, Max and Sarah, with the President in tow, embark on a high-speed chase to reach the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Their mission is to input the kill codes, which would deactivate Dutch Boy and halt the impending geostorm. However, Deckham is hot on their trail, determined to ensure the geostorm's activation. The chase tests their skills and resolve, culminating in a climactic confrontation where Sarah courageously takes down Deckham, but not before the countdown for the geostorm has already begun. As the situation reaches a critical juncture, a desperate Max contacts Jake, relaying the harrowing state of affairs on Earth. With no alternatives left, Jake makes the audacious decision to manually input the kill codes from the space station itself. The perilous task teems with danger as the station hangs on the brink of catastrophic failure. As Max transmits the codes to his brother, Jake and Yudi embark on a thrilling, perilous journey through the crumbling station, navigating exploding and malfunctioning equipment. The impending geostorm looms mere 
minutes away. Our heroes, both in space and on Earth, are ensnared in a desperate race against time. Jake and Ute, against all odds, reach the mainframe, their every move a precarious dance with death. With unwavering determination, they commence manually entering the kill codes, the fate of the world resting on their shoulders. Simultaneously on Earth, Max and Sarah watch the Geostorm countdown with bated breath. Each passing second intensifies the chaos and destruction. Massive hailstorms pelt Tokyo, icy bullets from the heavens. Relentless heat waves engulf Moscow, turning it into a fiery hellscape. Tornadoes ravage Mumbai, twisting steel and concrete like mere toys. These terrifying harbingers foretell the cataclysmic geostorm that will decimate the world if Jake fails. The fate of humanity teeters on the brink of catastrophe, its survival hanging by a thread. Meanwhile, in the vast expanse of space, Jake grapples with the monumental task before him. Despite the looming threat of danger, he successfully inputs the kill codes. Yet their peril is not over. The self-destruct sequence for the space station has been triggered. Time slips away and Jake and Ute must escape the crumbling space station before it erupts into a fiery explosion. With unwavering fortitude, Ute takes the helm of the escape shuttle, while Jake faces the challenge of manually releasing the shuttle clamps. Narrowly evading the exploding space station, the geostorm finally halts its wrath. The catastrophic weather events cease their devastation, and the world is saved just as it teetered on the brink of disaster. However, victory comes at a great cost, leaving Jake stranded alone in the vast emptiness of space. Just when all hope seems lost for our courageous astronaut, a Chinese space station comes into view, rescuing Jake and adding a thrilling resolution to the intense space-bound saga. Meanwhile, on Earth, a joyous reunion unfolds. Max and Sarah welcome Jake home, the estranged brothers sharing a poignant moment of reconciliation amidst the remnants of destruction. The tables have turned for Deckham. His grandiose ambitions crumble around him. Dutch Boy is now back online. Its control restored and its power harnessed correctly. The world is safe again. Thus unfolds the incredible odyssey that is Geostorm. An epic tale of courage, sacrifice, and survival that shows humanity's unwavering spirit in the face of impending disaster. Subscribe to CinemaScoop so you never miss the latest movie explanations, reviews, and analyses. Thanks for watching.